Hey, sir fishermen, a new season is upon us. There we go. Yeah. So you can see in the background, I have my sand crab net. That's how I collect my bait. Once you collect your sand crabs, you're going to want to store them in a container. I'm going to make a new one. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you how I make my own sand crab bait holder container. All right, so let's get into container selection. All of these are lightweight plastic. The size I prefer is 32 ounces, 2 pounds, or 907 grams. These are square, these are round, it doesn't matter. But they are all pop top lids as opposed to the screw on lids. Now the difference being with the pop top lid you're going to need zip ties. And I'll tell you why I prefer those over the screw on. When you're out in the field you're on the beach, on the sand, or you're on a rock jetty. Typically when I need to change bait, I wrap my rod under my arm, I grab my hook line, hold it, and now I've got this hand free. Well, if I'm trying to unscrew it, what do I do with the cap? I either have to set it in my pocket, which it can fall out, or I have to set it on the ground or the rocks, and the water can either knock it off, or if it's windy, it can blow the lid away. And that just creates another problem. These here you might be able to find in a container store. Otherwise, these are easily found at your local market. So if you have, let's say you purchased the 32 ounce uh, yogurt or cottage cheese containers, once you finish them, clean them out. Next thing you know, you have a potential container. Okay, so when it comes to adjusting your cord length, yes, it's gonna go through your container. You're gonna have a couple of knots. But then you want to make sure when you tie it around your waist, you've got plenty of cord to make a decent overhand knot. The next thing you're looking at is why I like the pop top lids over the screw on. So when I'm fishing, typically if I have to change bait, I'm going to put my rod in my other hand and hold it. Then I'm going to pop the top with one hand. The zip tie holds it in place. Reach in, grab my bait. Tie my bait on, take my hand, flip over the lid, and pop it back on the lid, and I'm back ready to fishing. Okay, so once you select the type of cord material, string, shoelace, hiking boot, whatever you're going to use, you want to select a drill bit that's going to match up with the diameter. So here's how I find my hole marking locations. On a square container, it's pretty simple. Just put it to your hip. The rope's going to come around the front, the rope's going to come around the back. So I just need to get two of those corners. And if you see here, I don't want to make the hole marking way up high because that leaves little room and the top can crack. So once I have those two holes marked where the rope's going to go, I also need to find where am I going to do my zip tie. So I like the back opposite corner so when this lid pops off the zip tie will hold it in place at this corner. So I'll make my marking on this for the zip tie both on the pop top and at the corner. But if I was going to put this on my right hip here are the markings the rope, the rope and then instead of this one it would be on this corner so the lid pops out this way. Now, for a circular container or the round container, especially if there's some sort of print, you can use the print to get an idea of where you're going to uh, level out your markings. Again, three quarters of an inch below, and then this distance here is about three and a half inches. 
on both of them, three and a half inches across. So if I was going to have it here, the rope goes around me, goes around me, it's three and a half inches apart. And then because it's on my left side, I'm probably going to look for an indicator around here for my lid to pop off in this diagonal direction. Okay, so here was my original bait container that I pulled the rope out of. So here's the rope. So another option you have as far as boring out the holes rather than using a nail or using a very small drill bit to start the hole is if you have a glue gun or if you have like a, a soldering gun, you can use the heat to start the hole. And I'm going to apply, get this thing hot a little bit. And because this is plastic, that heat from that gun will go right through it. There we go. And that's enough. I can at least start the hole. And then I can use, I'm going to go through the lid. The lid's much um, weaker plastic, so it went through that much easier. And last one here. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my drill bit size, this one, that matches up with my cord. Well, that's all good. I'll have to clean out the edges, and I can do that with the file, or whether I need use a utility knife to clean off the loose debris. And then i got to do the lid. And then with that rope, or the cord, or shoelace, whatever you have, I had the rope. You can see on a square container, this sits much more flush, so I don't have to duct tape it. My thumb, when it's going in, isn't going to get caught. So I need to tie the knot, just a little overhand knot. And the reason for that is just so... The bait container or the rope doesn't slide around and real simple just an overhand knot all right so last thing I need to do the zip tie so there's my rope ends with the knots the zip tie is going to go in here and then it's going to come up through my lid and I'll flip this over here and I can adjust this to whatever length I kind of need to get it right but overall this is what it looks like put this around my waist do an overhand tie just like you would tying your shoe. Swivel this to however I want it. This is at the opposite corner. I'm fishing. Put my rod underneath my arm. Grab my line. I have my hook ready to go. I need a new bait. Pop the top. Zip tie holds it in place. Grab my bait. Tie my bait on. Grab my lid. Attach it to the corners. Push it down. And then, woof, right back to fishing. So here's a little additional tip. Once you get your zip tie to the length you want it, when you cut it, whether you're using zip tie, um, scissors, whatever you're going to use, you're probably going to want to file down the edge just so there are no sharp edges. A nice, easy, smooth edge. Little hot tip. Okay, so I'm going to show you some options you have now to bore out your hole. You can either use a nail, press down on a piece of wood, and either push down with your hands if you need to. Just give it a little tap. Don't put your lid here and press down. You might crack it. If you're going to put the nail in there, press down right against the wood. Once I have that starter hole, I can use a little tiny drill bit. Again, I'm just going to make the hole a little bit larger, and that starts the hole process. Punch through. There's going to be three per container. Okay, so I switched out the drill bits from that little starter bit after the nail punch to my hiking boot material that's going to be about the same diameter. I'm just going to punch through that. Okay. Okay, so when you get these holes, you might have some rough edges, and that's what the file is for, to file it down, or maybe you just use some scissors or the utility knife and kind of clean up those holes.
Okay, so after I've cleaned up the holes, there's the three and a half inches apart, those two holes, the zip tie hole, both on the outside and on the inside, there's no sharp edges. Now we need to figure out, let's put the rope in there. So for the circular one, I was going to do the hiking boot. There's my markings. I'm going to put that in and pull it through. Okay, so one of the issues with the circular is that because this edge isn't square, the rope can hang out and you might catch your thumb when you're reaching in. And the way to alleviate that is to duct tape it to the side. I'll put duct tape in here and it'll duct tape that rope out of the way and then it won't affect my hand when I'm grabbing my bait. Now I still need to tie the little knot and the knot here just so the string or the uh, rope doesn't move around. So next all I'm going to do is just tie my little overhand knot, pull this tag line through, and I'll put it right up to the edge. And I've done that on both sides. So that way the bait container can't move around. Okay, so next is the zip tie. So I'm going to put it up through the container part first, like that. And then I'm going to take my lid where I have the zip tie hole. I'll put it through the hole. And then I'll line that up. You can see how that lines up. So in other words, it's not way over here. It's in line. And then I'll just attach the zip tie. But I can check and see when I pop the lid, that's going to stay on. Flip it back and pop the lid back on. So here's my final lid for the round one. The rope, I've alleviated the problem with my thumb by duct taping the rope to the inside. I'm going to wrap this around my waist. I'll tie it just like you would if you were tying your shoes. And then swivel it to the position I want it. So then if I was fishing and I needed to grab my bait, I'd pop the top off. That zip tie holds it in place. Grab my bait. Put it on my hook. I've got my rod in my other hand. Flip the lid back over. Snap it back in place. And then from here, right back to fishing.